Hi guys. I'm going to keep my finger off the volume today. I'm going to start on the deck. I got some questions for anybody that has any answers. Um, we had to go far, far away, 100 miles, to a nursery to get our trees. I'm trying to give you some close-ups there. I think this is a cherry. Uh, no, pear. This is pear. You can see it's got some settings on there. Uh, it didn't look like this before the ride. I don't think they got frost bit. It hasn't frosted. So I don't know what's going on. So if anybody does know, I'd appreciate a shout out. Let me know. Um, that's a pear tree. Let's see. So this must be another pear tree, which you can see has that same type of um, thing. I, I guess I'm going to have to Google it. It looks a lot like a frost problem to me, but I don't know. There's the cherry tree I'm up on my deck, and you can see right there it has some damage too. This tree as well, which at this point, I'm, it's a duchess apple. And I don't know, maybe that branch got damaged, though I'm not seeing any damage on that branch. If anybody has any ideas, just let me know. I mean, I'd appreciate that. I'm not going to lose a $100 tree. But there's also no one here to give me any info. So I'll look it up if I have to. I'll try to be a little more steady today. While we're, I'm exiting the deck. So that's taking us down. <clears throat> Give you a quick span of the yard. I came out yesterday, got some planting done, uh, got half of the yard mode, which I haven't been able to do, gosh, for a few years. But they've got me on steroids right now, so I did get that done. The little hot house. Needs to be opened up and looked it on, and I'll do that after after we're all done. You can't see anything but fog, I suppose, or after I'm all done. The trees and this cherry bush, it's called. It's actually called a uh, Romeo. This cherry bush. I looked it up. It gets pretty tall for a bush. But not tall enough to be a tree, I guess. I would classify it more as a dwarf. It'll get six to eight feet tall. So that doesn't matter where we plant that. Just like the trees. Um, we'll take a look over here. Some of what I didn't know what was. I went ahead. I got it planted. This was actually... That's my little ladybug back there. Hi, girl. It's a pretty girl. It's a pretty girl. Um, she's a Morky, half Maltese, and half Mal half Maltese and half Yorkie Terrier. And she's a beauty. Oh yeah, here's, here's the boy Sage. He is the same, same breed, half breed. And he acts very much like, like a Maltese, which is good. I don't think you should eat that grass, but you're not going to listen to me. I have to get the weed eater out, huh? So this is a globe artichoke, and I had bought some in seeds from MI Gardener, and they did come up, and they're doing well, and I'm thinking when I go look back down there, I might see some from the bed that I just planted with everything in it. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, Plant Abundance Channel, and if I can figure out how to link these, I will. Plant Abundance Channel grows them, and he says they get about five per bush. So that's cool. Um, succulents, which 
I bought in a grouping like that simply because it was less expensive and I want to propagate them and from everything I've seen they're really easy to propagate so I went ahead and went for you know the $15 one instead of the $30 one outrageous isn't it tomatoes they're not looking too bad considering the weather just keeps messing with us today has actually been nice all day it's been the first day this is the first day we've had sun from the time we woke up yeah I don't have a lot of faith in these tomato cages I don't like these tomato cages they're just there right now as the plants mature these are indeterminants of the majority of them are which means that they, they just continue to grow you know determinant means they will stop at a certain height these won't I'll put about one of them and so I'll either put you know some fencing up or something to uh we'll put something up for them to climb so no i'm not seeing anything in here that looks like an artichoke i am still seeing what looks to me like collards broccoli gob, lettuce a few peas this is going to be an everyday bed huh yeah, let's have a salad, run out there and grab some stuff. Grass, still looking for a recipe. And then, of course, we have a little more lettuce coming up in this bed. And some dill. And uh, I always put a marigold, at least one, in each bed. Lettuce is doing awesome, which is great because I had store-bought lettuce last night for dinner, and it about gagged me. So, no more of that. I believe those are little radishes, but they'll grow into big radishes. Kale. We got the kale in. It's my granddaughter's favorite. She loves to make, she, well, she'll even take the Brussels sprouts and broccoli but the kale, she really loves to make into kale chips. Yeah, she seasons it up, roasts it in the oven, and it is delicious. I had never had them before she made them. She's um, 13 and a half right now. And her mama's a great cook, excellent cook. And she's going to be one too. And I love that she likes to cook. I used to like to cook, and then I did it for so many years. And I still like it occasionally. We've got peas coming up, and they need watered. I see that now. I don't like to water. But it's only, well, I mean, I don't, that was silly. I do like to water. I don't water in the heat of the day. It's only 1 o'clock here. It's not the heat of our day yet. That'll hit about 4, where we live up here in Montana. So I will water, though. Succulent, they got pulled up. Probably showed it to you before. This bed, too, needs it. It's got the cabbage cucumbers yep we're gonna get the water out as soon as we're done here yep this bed needs it we've got brussels sprouts broccoli and cauliflower in this bed which is also in there's a cauliflower in that last bed too that i showed you uh hubby has not had time just hasn't had it he, he works about 70 hours a week, 12 hour days, I don't know, whatever that comes out to, six days a week most of the time. And the idea here was maybe do a starburst with the bed. My neighbor's out, she probably thinks I've gone half mad out here talking to myself. Although if she knows me at all, she knows I've got the dogs to talk to. Anyway, I did this myself. This is not being shown to its best advantage and it doesn't matter where I get but it's a moon and it is a it's a resin um, mixed resin mixed piece of artwork uh, should glow in the dark it's got some fluorescent in it and I put a little did a um, 
glow in the dark paint on top of it. It's basically glass and baubles. Um, it's on a piece of styrofoam. Not my idea. Can't take credit. Sue Finley. If you like her, I mean if you like art, resin work. Oh, so inspiring. Wonderful videos. I've got to learn to link. She's great. This was originally her idea. So I, I have quite a few of these that I'm making for yard art. Much cheaper than the little solar lights. Looks like the raspberries are doing okay. I'm a little concerned about the strawberries. I have another batch to plant there. Raspberries appear to be doing fine. Some are quicker than others. That's what happens when you separate them. Um, as you can see, and here's a shout out to Shoddy Boy. He makes videos. Look him up. He makes videos about the creatures that live right around his home in the woods. So what I'm showing you is just past the end of our neighborhood. I hope that's what I'm showing you. Is Cabinet Wilderness. And that's where it starts. One of many places it starts. Um, yeah. Designated Wilderness Area, for those of you who don't know, means you, you can't have any vehicles in there, etc. There are roads up there, they're gated, they're for forest service, etc. Um, no camping in the wilderness, I don't think. I could be wrong. Could be pack it in, pack it out. That type of thing. If anybody has an answer to why Sorry, here, let me... It's okay, buddy. It's a neighbor's dog. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay, Bo. It's okay. Um, oh, now they're going to run the fence. If anybody can tell me why rhubarb goes to seed every spring, I would love to hear it. Uh, all my years of gardening until I bought this particular rhubarb plant, which seems to have pink on it. Maybe it's going to flower which I've never seen it do because I cut those seed heads off um, until I bought this particular plant which you don't usually buy rhubarb here you get it from someone you know it does have pink on it maybe it is going to flower I don't know this is the plant of course that I got from my sister this is the one that I bought and it goes to seed every spring and it drives me crazy I could care less if I have rhubarb or not but it's one of my fav my husband's favorites it's just one of his favorites so I also made a macaroni salad and a green salad and steak for dinner and for those of you who don't know which is probably anybody watching this just about. I have chronic pain issues that come from an extremely messed up uh, sacrum, tailbone that's been broken a couple times, uh, the sets that are broken, and the lowest three vertebrae are bone on bone. So chronic pain from that. I also have three autoimmunes, rheumatoid arthritis, Sjogren's, Raynaud's, and they don't know what else. That's been pretty much under control for a couple of years until, until this spring. So I'm dealing with my second round of steroid prednisone. This is not a good not a good view to show you the mountains behind us, which I'm showing for uh, shoddy boy. See? Now this, is this an apple? This is a duchess apple. Now look at that. It's, it's just strange, I don't understand it. I have no understanding of this. I've not seen it happen to trees before. Um, the cherry tree is actually in pretty good shape. Let's see if we can see any. I don't know if it's got blossoms or not. Yeah, it does, it's got some babies right there. 
and it's a bing. I love bings. The smaller bush is a more of a tart cherry. They say that it will put out 15 to 20 quarts a year, which would be awesome. Not even, even though I'm not a great big cherry fan, that doesn't matter. I want some nut treats really badly. Nut <laughs> trees is what I meant to say. Um, is a lady. She's laying, laying there being cool. So anyway, so yeah, I've been on steroids. And that gives me lots of energy. But by n uh, 8 last night, I had to go in, take a shower, and just get in bed and cry. And not me crying emotionally, the body crying physically because it just does that when you're in pain. I did too much, so I'm going to have to slow down. That just does nothing but irk me. Um, I'm trying to get a picture of what's beyond us. This is the last row of housing across the street in this development. After that, you run into a creek, and then you once again will run into the cabinet wilderness area. So it's kind of nice to be surrounded by wilderness area. However, in our neck of the woods, huh, as we call it, in our neck of the woods, uh, it makes you wonder sometimes. So, potatoes, gold, red, and yellow, that I tried my best. I tried everything on these things to get them to some eyes on them. So, remember I told you, I could not, absolutely could not find any carrots, potato sets, or onion sets. Well, I did, and you won't believe where I found them. And I paid a prettier penny for them that I would have any place else, and I don't care. Um, but I found them on Etsy. The seeds so far I've gotten this year were for MI, from M.I. Gardener, Michigan Gardener, I suppose that stands for, who lives pretty much in the same kind of area that we do, like a 98% germination rate. They are wonderful, awesome. And then I did find seeds on Seed, seeds Geek, seed Geeks on Etsy, and... And I bought seeds there. And so now these I found on Etsy and carrot seeds. And so, thank you. This is the absolute latest we've ever planted. You, you never go past Mother's Day or when the 